Good afternoon, people. Watch them in 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future. All of our sins are taken care of by the blood of Jesus. Past, present, and future. He was buried and rose again on the third day, according to scripture. That's how we're saved, how we're kept saved, and why we're saved. It's only through his blood. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. You are locked in Christ. You are protected. Whether you believe it or not, you are protected. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, all of that. That's the benefit of being born again. In order to be raptured, in order... To have eternal life, you have to be born again. That's the preacher said in Sunday morning rapture. In order to be raptured, you have to be born again. Born again. I got to give you this article. This happened in China. And this is quite disturbing because we have no clue what they just launched. China just broke a national record by lifting 41 satellites into space. So China broke its own record for the most satellites launched from the nation by a single rocket. And it was successful. One of the country's long March 2D 2D rockets lifted off from, um, I think it's Taiyan Satellite Launch Center in North China. This happened last Thursday on the 15th. This just came out a day or two ago. So no one knew about it. I haven't heard of this on lame stream media. No one has talked about this. I get this uh, art, this um, website called In uh, Interesting Engineering. And they sent me this. No one, I again, I have not heard this from no one else. But this happened Thursday, June 15th at 1.30 a.m. Lifting a batch of satellites into space. Now, what the heck are they doing doing that? So this goes on to say that in dramatic footage of the launch, many installation tiles can be seen falling off the rocket as it makes its way into the sky on its way to deploy 41 small satellites into low Earth orbit. Now, let me, in case you didn't know, China has EMP capability. They also have nuclear capability, which is basically the same thing, but... Again, we have no idea what they just launched. Number one, because no one's talking about it.
Uh, hold on just a sec. I just got something else. And it says a huge explosion sparks buildings in Paris. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me get this. Okay. Let me leave that for just a second, that article about China. This says a huge gas explosion just sparks a blaze near French Senate, sending black smoke spewing into the air. So a blast happened in the Val de Grace neighborhood in the French capital near the Senate, a city official said. Oh, this is a mess. This is, this is a developing story, apparently. Um, this just happened. Paris police said they were on the scene. Pictures show huge plumes of black smoke billowing in the sky. Footage show a building actually collapsing. Engulfed in flames as burning debris drops into the street below. Cops have urged the public to avoid the area. French Interior Minister Gerald uh, Darmanin confirmed firefighters were battling a blaze um, this okay yeah I'll link this in the description box too this is developing so I don't have a whole lot on that but the uh, China thing I do have information on so it says um, before the June 15th launch of this Chinese China's new satellite record launch. China's record for satellite launched by one mission stood at 26. That record was set only days before the long March 2D mission by, uh, I think it's Lujian, one rocket developed by private space company CAS Space. The question is, why are they doing this now? With everything happening, why now? And what what is there? What did they launch? Again, no one's saying anything because this story is not being let out. I haven't heard this nowhere. Long March 2D stands at 135 feet tall, 41 meters, and can lift 2,866 pounds of payload to a sun uh, secrenius orbit. What is the payload? It says the global record for the highest number of satellites lifted by a single rocket was set by SpaceX when it launched 143 uh, satellites to orbit during a rideshare mission in January 2021 called Transporter 1. The satellites lifted by the Long March 2D rocket were um, GF-06A0 satellites all developed by China's commercial remote sensing satellite firm. According to a report by Space.com This satellite firm aims to put over 300 satellites in orbit by 2025. Oh, but this is just a coincidence, right? The company is a spinoff of an institute that's part of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. And it's based in the northeast part of China. China's also developing an internet satellite constellation called uh, Juing, or however you want to say it, or the National Net, or the National Network that is designed to rival SpaceX Starlink constellation. The China National Space Administration recently announced that it will launch those satellites abro aboard 
is Long March 8 rocket and it will boost its production capacity of the launch vehicles to help lift roughly 13,000 of the satellites to orbit. China's space sector has made rapid progress in recent years, and the country recently announced it. That it aims to send humans to the moon by 20... <laughs> it aims to send humans to the moon by 2030. Seven years from now. Before eventually sending a crewed mission to Mars. Oh, but like I said, China's not going to do anything. It's just a coincidence. Nothing is happening. Nothing to see. Nothing is going to happen. Don't worry about it. The banks aren't going to fall. There's no not going to be. Russia's not going to do anything. No nuclear exchange. No nothing. No, nothing is going to happen. Again, I got... Let me see. Four. Four oceanfront properties in, let me see, Nevada. I can sell you for free. <laughs> yeah, right. Folks, this is bad. This is bad on every level because no one, like I said, no one knows what that payload is. No one knows what that payload is. China has, again, EMP capability. They have nuclear capability. And they hate the U.S. Oh, but again, that's just, that's just a coincidence. I'm being serious when I say this. Please get your head out of the sand. And pay attention to really what's going on. We're not long for this world. Praise God. And we will soon be out of it. But you need to know what's going on before. You need to know what's going on right now. This is bad. On every level. I will be back later because I have some more news off of War News 24-7 that just came in. So, And I will be back later to give you that. Thank you.